And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Swain. It's always fun playing Yasuo decks and we're putting it together with our new Noxus champion Swain. We played this deck uh, one time at the beginning of our 12 hour stream on Saturday and I have to say I was pretty impressed with how the, the deck looked and like how it actually played and everything and, and you know wanted to play it again. So it's our our other deck that's that's the uh, old deck that we've played before we got two new decks that i haven't played it before up after this but talking about our deck right now we are kind of combining yasuo's um ab ability you know they whenever it stuns or recalls it does two damage so that's non-combat damage combining that with swain where if we've done non 12 non-combat damage this game then we can level up swain and then whenever we deal non-combat damage to the enemy nexus we get to stun the strongest back row opponent and of course if we're stunning opponents or enemies that's good for yasuo so that's kind of what our, our deck's about we're just kind of mixing uh, those together like so we we get to play yasuo with kind of like an aggressive um touch to the deck i have a little bit of a cough today um Having Imperial Demolitionist and uh, Crimson Disciple, kind of putting those together um, and, you know, getting that non-combat damage. And, uh, yeah, Ravenous Flock kind of works perfect for damage to level up Swain for something that is uh, stunned. I, I was actually really impressed with the City Breaker last time. You know, just the one damage to the enemy Nexus is absolutely amazing when you have the leveled up Swain. Because you do have to do non-combat damage to the enemy Nexus. And that's hard to do with our deck and just kind of in general. Because that, um, so like City Breaker actually really helped out uh, with Swain. But uh, yeah, let's let's give this a try. Let's play it again. It was a lot of fun last time. Let's see, we got our, our Yasuo sleeves. We are good to go. <laughs> no, I'm not really sick. I don't know. I just have like a, a little bit of a cough. But I don't, I'm not sick. I don't feel sick. It's like the, my throat's kind of scratchy kind of thing. Uh, um, that's about it. Okay. Karina Control. First time playing Karina Control today. Well, we have our champions. I don't like that I don't have a two drop. I want to have a two drop. But I like everything else. I'm going to keep it and hopefully draw a 2-drop with my 2-draws. That was not one. Ugh, that wasn't one either. I know <clears throat> Darn. Out from the dark. Yeah, I've, yeah, I have a lot of uh, Threshless. Um, I haven't played Thresh since the update, though. Not that I can recall... But I do like Thresh a whole lot. Um, yeah, I can I can get you the Karma Thresh. Let me check the date on this. I think this is my last Karma Thresh. April 19th, the last time I played this, maybe. Um, I do like Mage Seeker Thresh and
That's a deck. Mage Seeker Thresh is a deck that I'm gonna um, also uh, try revisiting. <clears throat> All right, well that levels up Swain six, six out of twelve. They're gonna kill my three drop anyway, so we just kill it and kill their Elise. That works. Good news, we got a backup. <clears throat> Did kind of feel like they were um, saving mana for a vengeance or something like that, but we got a backup, so it's all good. There's nothing to fear. Glory, courage, excuses for war. You won't suffer long. Can I have Swain go down to five toughness? Nah, we don't need to. So even if they have Brood Awakening, we'd have like Intimidating Roar. Attack. So young. Wow. That's it? Fun just surrenders? Dude, Swain is busted. Wow. Even if your opponent's at 20, if you hit your opponent with a Swain, you win the game. Just happens. Visual proof, right there. Visual proof. Um, See, the, the Undying decks, also Mortimo, the Undying decks are really good with Thresh. Check those out. <sighs> Same matchup. Death Lotus could be really good against a, a bunch of spiders. Whatever, I'm looking at. Could be really good, though. There you go. There's there's a couple more, more demo, a couple more thresh decks for you to try out, or you know look at like maybe those help your collection a little bit better. I I do like both of those decks as well. Like I'd recommend either of those. So this time I don't have, you know, the Noxian Fervor to be able to take out Elise.
No attack with Elise. Scared of Yasuo. No. Hmm. This is kind of bad for me. Nothing really looks like that great of an option. It's like, let's say they have, like, Withering Whale. Am I going to Will of Ionia and bounce my Yasuo? While they're just, like, killing me? Am I just going to ignore it? And, like, play Swain? Hmm. I don't know what the best play is against the Withering Whale. Or Static Shock. Static Shock, I'll probably just stun here. And uh, deal 2 to it because of Yasuo, and then get a 3 2. And then this this doesn't take the the three two doesn't take damage like a withering whale would do damage to it. Think you're fast? Cute. One girl wrecking crew. That's pretty good. Need to bounce that right away so that now they can't attack with Elise. Or they can. Like if I if I play this first, then they have the the Vi challenge, and then whenever I bounce, um, then they're good. I mean, I guess I would trade Blade Twirler for Elise, right? The playing this allows them to um, attack. How do I beat Vi? I can't right now. These cards do not beat Vi at all. Not at all. Clear it out. We need Minotaur Reckoner. Yone. Those kind of cards. Will of Ionia resetting Vi is big time. That is really nice. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Lead us to victory, Grand General. We got the Swain part of our deck. <clears throat> This will level up Swain. Make the Empire proud. This could honestly work really well for me. Well, I mean, I'm not going to be killing them, but... 
We can do some damage. Because we're gonna have like City Breaker, Round Start, do one damage to their Nexus. Man, are we gonna be killing them? Which will stun the Vi. Now you go straight to attacks. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. And then triggers three. I guess it is. If they have absolutely nothing before I deal damage to them, it will be lethal. It's hard to imagine that they'll have absolutely nothing. All right, they just had something. <laughs> Not lethal anymore. Ugh, these ravenous flocks don't look any good. These do not look good whatsoever. What? Oh, so then they could get to block that thing. Why wouldn't they just cast that one more time? I mean, I guess they want to do one damage to it. Like, I think they'll be able to kill it anyway. I guess, I guess they'd just rather play the spell. Yeah, play like that kind of spell, I guess. We need to replace Ravenous Flock with something more useful after playing these games. Not sure exactly what we need to draw right now. I go where the road takes me. So we need like, I don't know. And no, we do, there's nothing in our deck anymore. We're too far behind. A big strength to this deck are you know curving out into. Yeah, you know, obviously Yasuo, Swain, but then, you know, Minotaur, Reckoner, and Yone are two really big parts of our deck. And just continually having more and more two drops and no Minotaur, Reckoner, Yone kind of stuff does certainly hurt. Um, yeah, Transfusion. I could see playing Transfusion over that. I don't know. I want to, you know, I want to give it some more, some more time, but no, I'm not, I'm not interested in Blade's Edge. Not interested in that card. I'd rather have the the flock than a blade's edge. Um, but yeah, there's there's probably something better than that card. Maybe transfusion. Transfusion only does one damage as far as leveling up. Um, Swain is concerned. The possible should just be like like culling strike. Like, if we're going to play something that doesn't really level up, we could play something like Culling Strike. Alright, basically the same kind of deck.
Maybe it's more death. Maybe it's just a third Death Lotus though. Death Lotus has been impressive, and it it could could be that like one of them needs to be another Death Lotus. Remember the objectives. There's nothing to fear. No, I no, I wouldn't want Legion Grenadier. Nah, Death Hand's not good. That's Death Hand's a lot worse than other. Than like all the other options. That three mana, the guillotine, culling strike, all that kind of stuff. If I play the spider, the spider dies. What are we supposed to do? Blighted Caretaker is busted. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I know, thank you for trying. Yeah, I'd, to, you know, I had to think about what, what we want for that. But it's as far as, like, the, the cheap, you know, I know you're just, like, naming off, like, the other, like, cheap spells. But as far as, like, the cheap spells, I kind of like Ravenous Flock more than the others. But Ravenous, with Ravenous Flock not really cutting it, I kind of want to go a different route. Potentially. Like, maybe, you know, like, so I kind of want to see if there's, like, some, like, five, six mana card that could break open some games maybe or something i'm not sure i don't know talk about maybe replacing ravenous flock with something else we also just played against karina control twice you like the control deck like you can't imagine no you're like you can't you can't expect sorry you can't expect ravenous flock to be the best there but it hasn't been looking good if I remember right, the last time that we played it, it did just fine. But, but yeah, Death Lotus has looked better. I kind of think that maybe we should just be playing the third, like one of these should just be the third Death Lotus. Oh, right. I kept on... I keep, I keep on for... Okay, yes. After I stunned Elise, I could have Ravenous flocked Elise and dealt four damage to Elise. That is true. That is all very true. I... <clears throat> I was just thinking about, like, the damage part. I was also thinking about, like, what to replace. You know, that's what's kind of thing. But I was thinking about, like, just, just the deal four if it's damage. And forgot about that prepositional phrase of the or stunned. Sorry, my bad. I'll get back into the game here. So we're at 7 out of 12 for Swain. I don't know if it's worth playing Swain pre-combat or not. They just block Swain with Wraith. Like, best case scenario for me, they block with Wraith Caller. Sacking that thing to do to, to, to keep me from doing four damage. That makes sense. They who endure. Alright, so where are you at? Two out of five?
So I did not play Crimson Disciple because if I play Crimson Disciple, then I would have, um, you know, we have 10 mana right now. We would have had 8 mana this turn, so I would not have had the mana to play Swain and Will of Ionia if I would have played this Crimson Disciple. And I wanted to have the mana to play Will of Ionia to bounce that thing again. The problem is that's 11 out of 12 ugh, to level up Swain. I really wish that was 12. Okay. We're gonna go more spiders. Let's play this Crimson Disciple. No attacks, why not? Let's do a stun and attacking enemy. Hmm. Yay. Oh, wait, no, that's only the two. That doesn't level it up. Yeah, Swain's not leveled up. Boo. Alright, please don't kill my Swain. I would appreciate if you don't kill Swain. Thank you. Another one of those things? And they have overwhelm. Now any ways to be able to do damage to their Nexus. Honestly, maybe it's just more City Break. Maybe Ravenous Flock should be City Breaker. Maybe like one of them's another a second Death Lotus, or the third Death Lotus, and then the other one's the second City Breaker. I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. I just can't kill them. These they who endures are too strong. I mean, to to fight they who endure, I need Minotaur Reckoner and Yone. How have we played three games and we can't get a single Minotaur Reckoner or a Yone? There are three ofs in my deck. Each of them. I know Minotaur Reckoner would just take out these little spiders, but, you know, it would help taking out these spiders every turn. Eventually get into these things. 
Maybe a one of Leviathan. I could see that. I could see that. All right, let's let's change let's change it up. Let's let's take out those two cards. We gotta find something else. These ravenous flocks, not any good. Let's play a third Death Lotus, and then we get another big card. So we can play a city. I probably want a City Breaker or a Leviathan. I like I like one of those two. So Leviathan, um, or we could play a Swiftfoot. Swiftfoot's also just busted. That's probably the card that we should play is just a Swiftfoot, but. Um, I was worried about us having too much top end, but we have not been drawing those top end cards. What if we play... Hmm. Yeah, I was, I was thinking like this may be too much, <laughs> too much top end. I guess not. And... All right, what if we take out an Intimidating Roar? Maybe we just don't even need Intimidating Roar because we have these Death Lotuses. They're so good with Yasuo. Um, and then we can play one Swift Foot, one Leviathan. And two Yones. And then a second City Breaker. No, I've really liked these Death Lotuses. They've been really good. And it's it's a great way to level up Swain. Alright, let's try that. Yone is pretty awesome. It feels weird not playing three Yones. Is the third Yone better than a Leviathan or a Swiftfoot? Possibly. This does seem like a really good Swiftfoot meta, though. Swiftfoot is amazing against Vi. And amazing against... Um, unyielding Spirit. Bounce him. Yeah, Yone's have you on mana, but it's not like I'm replacing Yone with things that are more expensive. So it's not like I'm replacing things that are even heavier on mana. You know, think of the difference between Yone and a, a 5 drop. Well, it's like that, that difference... Make that like a nine drop instead. So I did just put in the third Death Lotus, and I did just say that Death Lotus has been good. And we immediately then draw two Death Lotus, and also immediately play against one of the worst Death Lotus decks. <laughs> My turn. Is that all? Remember the objectives. All right, we're already at 7 out of 12. Must be cut away. This is the card that uh, Death Lotus is definitely the best against. Maokai with the saplings. Such an aggressive recall.
No! Opponent! Oh, they saw my trap. I will tend this garden. They saw my trap. My trap was like, so I pass to them, wanting them, then they play Maokai, and then I play Swain, and then they have no, um, no fearsome things to block Swain. I didn't want to play Swain, and then they play, like, whatever big sea monster thing. Might as well cast this. It's better, I guess. It's only taking one damage instead of two. Wish they would have attacked with a bunch of stuff. So I could have wasted my Death Lotus. I guess if I would have attacked with this thing and then... Um... You pay, I fight. If I would attack with this thing, they block, then I waste the Death Lotus and do three damage, then we would have leveled up. Swain. But I was putting more damage on Swain for no real reason. Alright, Leviathan, let's see what you do. Beside, give me another Swain, so if they kill this one, I got it back up. They did kill that one. I got it back up. I'll have 10 mana also, so I, I, next turn I can play Swain and Intimidating Roar. Which could be cool. be able to block. Oh no, because that other thing is now deep. No, now that thing's a 7-7. Seven, seven. That thing blocks two. So they block, uh, you know, Leviathan and Swain, and they take eight and go down to one. Huh. It's better just to play City Breaker and pass. Yeah, so like, are we just gonna stun all their stuff like a million times each turn? We just stun like four things a turn? Five things a turn. Just everything's done. Just five. Just done five things. It's not bad. <laughs> I 
Look at the little toad. Uh, look at him. <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. All right, Leviathan looked great. <laughs> okay. We're going to edit the deck list. I want to play a game first before we change the deck list on Mobile Addicts. Let's let's do it. So we took out the two Death Lotus. We took out um, one Yone. And now we're adding in another City Breaker. And a Leviathan and a Swiftfoot. Save. All right, new list has been saved. That was pretty awesome. I mean, Leviathan also grabbed, you know, remember that they killed my first Swain. So Leviathan grabbing that other Swain also very important. All right, fast aggro. Fast aggro can be a problem for these decks if we get too slow of a hand. Uh, good, I like double two drop. I like the concussive palm. What about William? Do I keep William? We'll, we'll not keep William. Uh, Gangplank ship? Is that one lackluster is the question? And, well, it kind of is. It does does have the combo potential with Ledros. So you do have that combo potential. None of my cards really match up very well right now. Don't really want to block with any of them. I guess I should. Yeah, I mean, this is just the smart play. It's just to, to save this damage. Instead of, you know, like, we're not going to get damage on them, but that's just the thing to do. Yeah, Ledros, yep, Ledros damage, is, you know, that's an ally dealing damage, so it gets doubled, so it's a one-shot one, one shot kill. Got we played that yesterday. Um, we never we never got to pull that combo off, but our, our deck was good, though. I recommend checking out this video. This is a, a good deck with that combo, but I just never got to pull it off. Um, unfortunate that this doesn't pump up to be a three power until after block, saying we don't get this thing until after block, so I don't actually get to block either of these. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. I'll try anyone once. Really? Boo. That would have been helpful previously before these precious pets killed me.
Okay, let's see. So I need... Let's see, you... Oh, no, you go over here. You're gonna jump block. You block there. You block... Here, you block. Uh, here, I guess. Alright, eight... So I'd rather you chump block you stay alive. No. No, wait. Alright, Death Lotus. And then this. Kill that. I have to do this thing in front of the Death Lotus because we have to get the Crimson Disciple out of here so that they don't uh, deal extra damage to me with that. Me down to three. Oh, this hurts. I hope this works. Duty empire. Backfired. If they don't break, they'll burn. Oh. Nice job, Rup. I, I didn't even know it wasn't that. Eh. Alright, two and three. Death Lotus would have been great to have on turn two whenever they had those two 2-1 two spiders. Those, those fearsome spiders, you know, dealt uh, eight damage to me. That would have been nice to save, but... I don't know. Their their hand was awesome. I don't don't know if we were really saving that. Um, uh, oh, okay. So Discord changed to Discord.com instead of DiscordApp.com. Yeah, it's a good change. Just like I think that this this deck this was a good change. Getting these top end cards, Leviathan Swiftfoot, getting another City Breaker in here. Um, those those one mana cards didn't seem so good. Uh, so yeah, good good change. Uh, the burn deck is awesome. I mean, I think I think you're you are going to be a little weak to the burn deck. Um, yeah, like that, basically that. Um, but besides that, uh, I like this deck, and I think I think it plays pretty well. I think that uh, you know both our first two losses that we had, um, we did draw, we did did keep on drawing that ravenous flock, and that ravenous flock was really useless. And so taking taking that out and putting in cards that are useful um, probably could have made a huge difference in those two losses. Uh, really liked what we saw the game four whenever we had Leviathan, uh, you know, and everything like after our changes. Game four really liked what we saw there. And so if you're, um, uh, yeah, so I think that that kind of shows like what what our decks about um now with the changes so if you're somebody on youtube that that skips to the end and and here's the recap first before seeing before watching definitely check out game four um but there we go yasuo swain uh this is i do think this is a competitive deck but a couple of weaknesses like basically this is this is a deck that's good against mid-range decks like we're that's what uh yasuo yasuo always has been good against mid-range and i think that that's that's still like what, what we have here um the decks that are like the hyper aggro burn decks are going to be pretty difficult to stabilize against because of like all those burn spells going upstairs and then the um the very slow methodical control decks also can be difficult against but i did like that we went one and one against karina control i think that's a good sign because i think karina control can, can be a tough matchup so we, we did go 500 there i liked that all right, so there we go. That's Yasuo Swain. Um, those of y'all watching on YouTube, also hit that like button over there and leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.